Welcome to the project demonstration of auto power supply control from four different sources using PIC microcontroller. In this we are using PIC 16F72 microcontroller to take the input from this four different sources like uh, first uh, this uh, direct main supply. Here that main supply is given from this RPS uh, which is coming from this transformer. Directly we are giving 230 volt supply to this transformer. From this, this transformer will step down the voltage to 12 volts, and this voltage is given directly to this RPS circuit. And this RPS circuit having three steps. One is rectification. This rectification circuit will uh, rectification circuit will convert the voltage from AC to DC. And uh, this rectifier circuit is connected in full bridge rectifier circuit and the rectifier output is given directly to the capacitor which will convert the voltage to filter DC the output of this rectifier circuit will be pulsating DC and the filter uh, capacitor will filter the voltage and make it as filter DC and give it to give it as a main supply and this main supply is given to this voltage sensor this voltage sensor will take the input and it will divide the input as 1 is to 10 ratio and this 1 is to 10 ratio after dividing it will be given to the PIC microcontroller as a signal means uh, even the voltage is 12 and the four voltage is 14.5 it will the output uh, of this voltage sensor will be 1.45 and this output is given directly to the microcontroller and this signal is divided and uh, displayed in this LCD LCD screen which is 16 by 2 LCD display on this the microcontroller gives the uh, readings to this display 16 by 2 LCD display then it will be displayed on this screen and here having fourth process that is regulation to give the power supply to the microcontroller we can't give directly 12 volts to the microcontroller so that's why we are using 7805 voltage regulator which will Low the voltage to 5 volts, and this voltage is given as supply to the PIC 16F, which is peripheral interface controller. And here in this microcontroller, there is two main parts that is reset button. This reset button is mainly used to restart the programming whenever we want to restart the program, and this crystal oscillator is used to generate the clock pulses to the DC to gen pass the signals to the output elements. And uh, this is the main supply uh, voltage sensor and uh, another one is the inverter as we taking the battery this battery is taken as a inverter voltage and this vo voltage supply is directly given to the microcontroller uh, by the voltage sensor this voltage sensor will divide the voltage to 1 is to 10 and give it to the uh, microcontroller and uh, third supply is a solar panel solar panel we are uh, taking this solar panel voltage as an input and giving it to the Oh, third input for the microcontroller by using this voltage uh, sensor and fourth one is this grid and uh, whenever we rotate this uh, motor then it will be generating the voltage and this voltage is directly given to the microcontroller as an input by using this voltage sensor like this we are taking four inputs from the voltage sensor and these four relays are used as a switching circuit for the bulb and the supply of the bulb is there parallelly uh, given from the from before of the transform means uh, for transform we are giving 230 volts directly right and uh, parallel from there parallelly we are giving supply to the uh, bulb and uh, this bulb circuit is controlled by supply is controlled by the four relays whenever there is a high supply for the mains or inverter or solar or a grid their four supplies uh, having 12 holes it should have minimum 12 holes then only the supply will take will be taken from the circuit and whenever the main uh, switch is high then it will take the main uh, take the supply from the mains then mains relay will be on and other relays will be off and if the uh, mains is not there and inverter is having the high voltage of 2 volt then inverter voltage will be taken as a input voltage for the bulb on in, on in the bulb means uh, as a power supply 
then relay of inverter will be on and other relays will be off like that uh, solar panel and also grid voltage should be 12 volts then only the voltage will be taken as a input voltage uh, if there is no input voltage which is 12 volts then automatically the power will be switched off for the bulb and all relays will be off by the input of the microcontroller then the input of the microcontroller will be change the switching of this relays according to the input of this voltage sensors and the, then the, the lcd display will display as no power whenever there is no power, no element is having to low supply then automatically it will show as no power in the lcd display and the power supply for the bulb will be off like this we are taking the input let us see the demonstration now and now i am giving the 3230 volts for the bulb then automatically the bulb be on and it it has it has taken the taking the power supply from the mains we can see here solar is directed mains solar is 4.3 and the generator this grid this motor is taken as a generator which is 00 why because it was not generating and when we rotate the generator it will generate little bit of voltage like that when we rotate the by using some turbines or any other devices then it will generate more power and the more main supply m for main supply is given as uh, giving up 14.8 now the main supply is high that's why it taking the main supply and uh, the input voltage of inverter voltage is inverter the input voltage of inverter is 12.5 so it was not taking the in inverter voltage now i am just uh, removing the main voltage now the main voltage is not there this is the main voltage main voltage is not there now it selected inverter inverter generating 12.5 volt so that's and uh, the main supply is zero we can see here that's why the inverter is taking 12.5 now the inverter supply is taken and now we can see the main is selected now i'm just removing the main now it's switched to the inverter inverter is selected inverter is generating 12.5 volt like that i'm now removing the inverter means we should remove the battery voltage now no power no power now i am just rotating this generator whenever the voltage is more than 12.12 volt then automatically it will switch to generator whenever you can observe that whenever the voltage is more than 12 volt then only it is taking the generator voltage until then it will take the generator voltage after that it will won't take any voltage from the generator and it will show as no power like that whenever the solar panel voltage is high more than 12 volts then automatically it will take the solar panel voltage like this we can change switch the device and use the power from the different sources thank you